Many believe gold prospecting is pure luck, but gold follows strict, predictable rules. Gold is about 19 times heavier than water and gravity dictates where it settles. Understanding these natural laws transforms prospecting from a guessing game into a science. Gold is eroded from its source and carried by water, dropping out quickly as the current slows. Your job is to spot these traps, places where gold accumulates often for thousands of years. Think of a river as a natural sluice box. Every bend, boulder and bedrock crack acts as a riffle catching gold. By reading the landscape, you can target your efforts and stop searching blindly. We'll break down these rules into practical steps, how to spot, test, and work the best gold traps. Forget luck, focus on the geology and physics that put gold where it is. We'll cover both active waterways and ancient dry riverbeds. With this knowledge, you'll unlock the secrets of the gold fields. The difference between finding gold and going home empty-handed is understanding these rules. Let's get started and turn you into a skilled strategic prospector. The inside bend of a river is a classic gold trap. As water rounds a bend, it slows on the inside, losing energy and dropping heavy materials like gold. This forms a point bar where gold settles through lighter gravels, often reaching bedrock. Focus your search on the head of the bar, where water first slows. This is where the heaviest gold drops out. Sample different spots along the bar, especially at the head, and down to bedrock or hard clay. Look for black sand and gold flakes in your pan. These are good indicators. The richest pay streaks are usually in the upper third of the deposit. Don't expect gold to be spread evenly. Target the best spots. Once you find a productive area, concentrate your efforts there. Whether you're panning or using a sluice, methodical sampling is key. Inside bends are your best starting point for consistent gold. Bedrock is the final stop for most place of gold. Gold works its way down through gravel until it hits solid rock and can go no further. The richest deposits are often found right on top of bedrock. Not all bedrock is equal. Rough, cracked and creviced bedrock traps gold best. Gold gets wedged in these cracks, protected from even the strongest floods. Use pry bars, scrapers and suction tools to clean out every crevice. Collect all material from cracks and pan it carefully. These spots can be surprisingly rich. Even small crevices can hold more gold than large amounts of gravel from elsewhere. Focus on crevices running perpendicular to the water flow. They trap gold most effectively. Cleaning bedrock is hard work, but it often yields the best results. Don't overlook the small stuff, it can add up quickly. Bedrock crevices are the prospector's secret weapon. Sometimes you'll hit a hard layer while digging that isn't true bedrock. It's false bedrock. This could be dense clay, cemented gravel or volcanic ash and it can stop gold just like real bedrock. Gold often accumulates on top of these layers, forming rich pay streaks. Don't stop digging when you hit a hard layer. Test it first. Try breaking through with a pry bar. If you can, it's false bedrock. Gravels trapped between false and true bedrock can be especially rich, protected from erosion. Clay is a common false bedrock, smooth, slick and tough to dig through. Caliche found in deserts is another. It's almost like concrete. Always sample the material directly above these layers. If you find gold, you've likely found a pay layer. Getting through false bedrock is tough, but the rewards can be great. Gold below false bedrock is often coarser and more plentiful. Don't assume a hard layer is the end. Sometimes it's just the beginning. Test, sample, and dig a little deeper for the real payoff. Recognizing false bedrock is a key skill for serious prospectors. The same rules for finding gold in rivers apply to dry washes and arroyos. These are ancient waterways that carried gold during floods and still do during storms. Look for inside bends, widened sections and the downstream side of boulders, just like in wet streams. Exposed bedrock is a huge advantage in dry washes. Inspect it for cracks and crevices. Use a metal detector to scan for shallow nuggets in bedrock fissures. When you find a promising spot, dig material from crevices or the base of gravel bars. Since there's no water, bring your own or take samples to a water source for panning. Dry washers use air and vibration to separate gold from lighter material, perfect for arid regions. The key is reading the dry landscape for the same gold traps you'd find in a river. Dry places can be just as rich if you know what to look for. 
Some of the richest gold isn't in today's rivers, but in ancient fossilized channels high above modern streams. These bench deposits are remnants of old riverbeds, often loaded with gold. Look for flat benches running parallel to current streams with rounded, water-worn gravels. These gravels are your target, evidence of an ancient river. Use maps and geological surveys to locate these benches. Prospect by digging test pits to find the lowest point of the old channel where gold would have settled on bedrock. The richest pay streaks are concentrated on or near this ancient bedrock. Famous fossil channels have produced massive gold finds. Many are still productive today. Working these deposits takes patience and geological insight, but the payoff can be huge. Fossil channels are a prospector's hidden jackpot. Success starts with a plan. Don't just dig at random. Begin with research study maps, geological reports and mining records before heading out. Once on site, walk the area and look for key features. Inside bends, rock outcrops and exposed bedrock. Rank locations by promise, then start sampling at your top pick. Dig deep test pans, not just surface material, and look for gold. If you find gold, sample nearby to locate the heart of the pay streak. If not, move to your next spot. Don't waste time on the barren ground. The goal is to find the richest concentration with the least effort. Once you've located a pay streak, switch to production. Use a sluice, high banker or dry washer to process more material. Work methodically, clearing each section to bedrock before moving on. Keep notes on where you find gold and where you don't. This systematic approach maximizes your efficiency and results. Every step, research, reconnaissance, sampling, production, builds your success. The best prospectors are methodical, not lucky. Let the land guide you and your odds of striking gold soar. The right tools make all the difference. Beyond a pan and shovel, bring crevice tools, a suction pump and a sturdy pry bar. You'll use a GPS to mark productive spots so you can return, even if the landscape changes. Keep a field journal to track where you find gold and where you don't. This becomes your personal treasure map. If you find a significant deposit on public land, consider staking a mining claim to secure your rights. Mark claim boundaries and file paperwork as required by local laws. Always work smart and safe. Bring extra water, a first aid kit, and a way to communicate. Let someone know your plans and wear proper safety gear. Preparation is as important as skill. Never take risks in remote areas. The goal is to come home with gold, but safety comes first. Smart prospectors combine the right tools, knowledge, and preparation. Gold prospecting is a science, not magic. Gold is heavy, lazy, and follows the path of least resistance. Inside bends, downstream sides of obstacles and bedrock cracks are universal gold traps. Your success depends on recognizing these features and learning from every outing. Pay attention to both where you find gold and where you don't. Every empty pan is a lesson. Invest in good tools, but remember, your knowledge is your most powerful asset. Research, plan and read the land before you dig. Gold is never random, it's concentrated in predictable spots patience and persistence guided by these rules will lead you to success. The laws of physics and gravity never change. Gold always follows them. Apply what you've learned and you'll hear that satisfying clink of gold in your pan.